Deus. Well, how are we looking over there, guys? You're looking at two new catalytic converters here on Yoda. She's happy. Uh, Gary over there at the Mad Hatter Muffler Shop did an awesome quick job putting those bad boys in. Cleared the catalyst system code for the, on the check engine light, so that's one more code knocked off the list. That's good. Um, I actually have acceleration back, so that is awesome. Um, I had the acceleration back, but unfortunately the RV is still hard to start. <laughs> so, still got another issue, plus we didn't get the fuel pump in yet. Of course Midas will do the work, but we are 14 months past when I had it done in Montana last summer, so that's two months past the warranty. Also, I had to get the right fuel pump, so that fuel pump that's in there right now is not under their warranty. That was the one that Wayne helped me to determine last summer that I needed in order for my generator to work. It's not even a Midas warranty part. So uh, the options are pay them some outrageous eight hour labor charge for my own part, which I don't even have, but it's coming. Uh, or move on down the road and go visit my buddy over in Kansas City and Robert and I can probably knock it out in half a day. Uh, maybe even Maybe even drill a little access port, uh, like like below the bed, because if I'm going to be swapping out a fuel pump every year, uh, maybe just make it easier than dropping the tank. I don't know, but uh. I obviously wish the catalytic converter stuff was like the only problem, or like like that was the one thing that was going to fix the acceleration and the hard starts and everything. Um, I'm happy to have the acceleration and be able to merge onto the freeway back, but now I don't, I still don't have very good starts. So, hey, we'll get there, man, we'll get there. We'll get this fuel pump swapped out here soon. In the meantime, let's enjoy the uh, drive. Ooh, hey guys, that didn't take long. I'm already back here at uh, Modified Auto and Sound. Actually, uh, got package my fuel pump, everybody, and that's the one that, uh, allows my generator to feed from the auxiliary uh, fuel pump. So, just a matter of slamming that guy in, right? In the meantime, the boys here at Modified Auto and Sound, by the way, uh, link in the video description for their Facebook page if you're looking for audio or tinting or remote starts, heated seats, everything. We uh, put in a little uh, accessory to Yoda, gave her a little bit of bass. As you can see, the new contraption here in the middle console they built me an actual uh, little custom box here. That's right, they build custom subwoofer boxes and they did it right here in the shop and carpeted it. It's a uh, down firing sub down there, so I got a 10 inch Memphis subwoofer down there underneath the uh, passenger seat here. I've got the Memphis 500 RMS uh, amplifier right there. All looks good. And then this will probably show up better at night, but I went to Walmart and got this 20 foot LED waterproof strip here and installed it myself color changing comes with this snazzy little remote for whatever color I want to do or flashing or strobe and Jax really likes it how much does Jax like it he likes it a lot like a whole lot yeah yeah okay I wish I could show you what the system sounds like, but as we all know, when you try to hear somebody show bass on a YouTube video, when you're like watching it on your phone or your laptop, you can't even hear anything. You're like, what is this? It sounds like crap. It's, it's, you can't, I can't show you what it sounds like. Just believe me, it sounds great for one speaker in a box uh, for Jackson and I traveling. It's not too much for him, so, you know, and if it ever becomes too much, of course, I'll have to turn the bass down for my little guy. Okay, my big guy. I'm gonna head out of here, guys. I'm gonna head out of Illinois, actually. Step outside. It's about 90 degrees today. Yeah, so I'm gonna say bye to the guys here at Modified real quick and thank them mucho for the work. Ah, uh, so here is their shop. This is where I've spent a lot of time the last few days. <laughs> Look at the TV. <laughs> at least they got good taste in uh, TV here at the shop. And yeah, they do speakers and, and uh, car alarms and window tinting and, and, and everything. <laughs> and here's the man. Here's the man, Sean. Been taking yeah. care. I really appreciate everything, man. I'm, I'm ready to settle up, so I'm going to be hitting the road here, yeah, bud. Yeah, uh, just a final couple of calculations here. I got your uh, ticket together. Okay. I'll go ahead and get you, your do, Oh, okay. Do you, uh, do you take bad checks or do you take checks? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do take uh, PayPal and uh, Patreon. So. Right on, bud. 
So yeah, man, I'm gonna hit the road and go camping. Do you mind telling the folks here where you're at and what you do a little bit? Uh, we're, we're, we're located here in East Alton, Illinois. Uh, just, a, just a stone's throw away from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we specialize in uh, pretty much all car electronics and wiring. We do remote starts, car alarms, and uh, custom car audio. Um, and apparently we, we, uh, we also lodge uh, free camping and, uh, <laughs> and roofing. But, uh, but yeah, man, we, uh, we really have enjoyed your stay. It's been, it's been great seeing you. And, uh, Good, good to good to meet a good good people. You know? Sean, I really appreciate it, man. Appreciate Thank you, you for buddy. giving Thank me a place so to park and all the connections, no getting the RV any, fixed. Anytime, man, anytime. We'll see you next time I'm in the area, bud. See you later, brother. The sunny road awaits. Let's get into Missouri. What? No, you have two and a half hours till lunch. There's. Look at the clock. Yeah. Nice try. You can't fool that. Put that paw down. That's not going to work on me. It doesn't work on me. It's not time yet. I'll let you know when it's on time. I won't starve you. I won't starve the kitty. <laughs> butts. Butts with butts. Okay, guys. We are planning on getting out of here. Unfortunately, it was just brought to my attention. Just to give you a heads up, it is, what is the date today? Friday the 15th. Now, as it turns out, I am just outside of St. Louis, but I gotta go through St. Louis to get to Kansas City. And apparently, two hours ago, some kind of verdict came down in a court case that has a bunch of people racially fired up. I don't, I, I hate to get into news and negativity and politics and religion and all that stuff. So for the sake of just, I don't want it to dirty up my channel. I'm not going to talk about it, but just know that I'm aware of what's going on. There are a lot of feelings on this particular case. And um, like I said, I'm just not going to get involved, but certainly I don't want to die here because of the skin color uh, driving through St. Louis. And I know that they are possibilities of roadblocks and violence. So I am planning a route actually around St. Louis. I'm up in Wood River and my GPS wants me to go through Ferguson down 270. And I'm actually gonna cut back east to 255 and go all the way south of St. Louis, almost Arnold, and then cut back into uh, 44, no, 270 up through Chesterfield up to I-70. So I'm gonna avoid this. Uh, I'm just gonna say I don't know what's gonna happen today. I hope there's no violence and I hope everybody's safe. Um, I just wanna get to a campground. It's my plan. So, goodbye, Illinois. things before I go inside here real quick. Nancy actually sent me an email and said, Eric, if you get this lens cap, you can zoom it all the way out. It turns out the generic one didn't work. It always used to keep black marks, but this is the new Canon hood, uh, lens hood, and I can actually go all the way out to 10 millimeters with no black frame anywhere. So thank you, Nancy, for that. Uh, also, just want to mention, I did not mean to be insensitive about the uh, court documents and everything that's going on in St. Louis. It's just that I don't want to be a part of it. And honestly, since, I, since we weren't in the courtroom, we didn't hear the facts. We didn't see the evidence or hear the evidence. We all just know what the news told us. I don't think that's any reason to go out and, and cause all this mayhem and, and destroy things and, and you know kill white people because a white officer was involved. I mean, it just seems absolutely ridiculous to me. You know, how can one person, even if they were guilty, how can that one person represent an entire race? And I, I thought we were past the whole race issue. Oh, geez, I said I wasn't going to say anything about it. I'm not. Look, that's why I got rid of social media, so that things that don't involve me, uh, I don't have to dwell on it. It doesn't have to bring me down. I can just go to the river and hang out. Unfortunately, I was going through, you know, almost a war zone, and I hope that civil war does not break out because of something like this. Um, I don't really know what else to say. It's just I don't want it to affect me, and I, I hate how everybody thinks that they know the facts when they don't. Anyway. All right, but anyway. Ozark land. You think it's a tourist trap? Yeah, I think so too. That's right off the highway. I'm gonna go check it out real quick. Oh look, misery magnets. 
Well, I didn't see any magic treasures that I had to have. That was a terrible tourist trap, but anyway, go get a couple McChicken sandwiches and then get back on the road and find a campground. Maybe some water? Oh, yeah! All right, we're coming up on the Lamine River here. All right, Jax. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, go ahead and turn down this dirt road. And maybe find a camping spot, Jax. What do you think? It looks like they're full, actually. Well, we'll try it to the end. <clears throat> maybe there's one more campsite down here. Might get lucky. Bazinga, we're in luck. Do you know that actually there is something eerily familiar about this campground? The thing that I remember the most is the highway. Now bear with me because I thought the last time I drove this stretch was part of Route 66, but, and I look, I actually looked through my videos before I started filming here. I could not find anything uh, near here. Frickin' cicadas. Uh, but I, I remember, does anybody else remember this spot? I don't know. Let's walk down to the river. Obviously there's gonna be some freeway noise, but I think it's well worth it. Look at that. So you got the Lamine River here. It looks like there's four camp spots. Little fire ring there and yeah. Oh, and I'm just gonna point out, I may need to look for a cover for my scooter, <laughs> especially when I'm going down these dirt roads. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I may wanna find a cover. Okay, and although it may look like falls in the air because of all the leaves, I assure you, it is 91 degrees today here in Missouri, in this part of Missouri. I have been here before. I can guarantee you I've been here. My deja vu just kicked in seriously. This spot right here next to the boat launch, this is where I first crashed my very first drone. Uh, I lost it out in the water, and then a boater helped me grab it and pick up the pieces. I guarantee you, I cannot find the video though, but I, I've been here before. Although there's no rules posted, I may talk to some of my neighbors, but I would probably say 14 day max. Here's another sign over here. Yeah, so it says, welcome to Harriman Hill Public Fishing Access, Missouri Conservation Department. Across the way there, they even added two vault toilets. That's new since I've been here last. It, it may have been several, several years though. And they got a boat launch course. So say whatever you want, I am not going to try to fly my drone over the river over there. No way. It's just, I'm just not gonna do it, so. Man, you have to kind of admit it's been a while since I've been to a nice campground. You know, I've been, been parked for a little bit. And uh, uh, as far as the RV, I mean, she's still running good. I got the acceleration back. It's still hard to start when warm, so. Um, and we all know I'm only getting 30 PSI on the fuel, so I got the fuel pump in the back, and hopefully the next video will be Robert and I slamming that guy in. Hopefully. Well, in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna hang out with Jax and enjoy the view of the river. Look at my belly, my belly, look at it, look at my belly. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.